Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I am back, and as promised, after 300 hours of burn-in on my Kimber Select KS6063s, I'm ready to give you guys my honest opinion on them. Uh, I was going to read all this good literature here on their website, but I'll let you guys do that for the guys who want to um, read the specs and the overview on the cables. In the meantime, I will uh, take you guys out into the living room area to show you the speakers installed, the uh, speaker cables installed, and to give you my honest opinion, and then I'm gonna play a snippet for you guys of classical. Actually, I'll play you the whole song. I know that a lot of you guys say, oh, you're only playing jazz, play something with impact, play something with, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, dynamic range. So we're gonna, we're gonna knock out some classical tonight. But anyway, uh, here they are, and they are directional. And uh, I'm using, again, I showed you guys when I did the unboxing, but I'm using the carbon jumpers. I wanted to go with a higher quality jumper on here for you. For the, for the setup to complement the level speaker cable. And uh, hard to see back here, but there they are. I got them plugged in and installed using the WBTs. Now, as you know, I had the, with the Bifocal X, I was running bi-wired and I was wondering if it was gonna sound as good uh, using the jumpers and man, it sounds so much better. So what did I hear in the difference? Okay, the first thing is that the Bifocal X are incredible. Uh, you know, they were good cables. I had them for almost two years. And what they did was make everything sound good. Uh, they were very pleasing on the highs. Uh, they were very uh, fleet of foot, uh, uh, almost like a ballerina that just had a lot of finesse and, and a lot of balance. I liked them. Uh, when I hooked these up, my goodness, I couldn't even listen to them at first. Uh, they literally took about 60 hours before I heard a change. Then in about 85 hours, I heard a change. Then at 140 hours, I heard a change. And then over 200 hours, I heard a really, really good change. And then after about 250, I figured that they were well on their way to being burned in. Um, they do have a Teflon dielectric on them. So that means they are going to, you know, take twice as long to burn in as a, as a regular dielectric, which is fine. Uh, the, the good things about the Select Series, man, it's like re, 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 opening up a tap on the amplifier. Okay, I was listening at volume levels of about 48, 48 to 50. Now I'm, I'm at 50 to 55 up to, tonight we're gonna listen at 61. I'm gonna push these suckers to show you guys the control that these have in a little condo with not a lot of space. Yes, my room acoustics is a tree and uh, a DVD rack, but hey, it, it, it works in the corners. But anyway, uh, room, acoustic, uh, room treatments aside, uh, you'll see how large these this system sounds in a small room. It plays much larger than the space I'm in. Uh, I really am impressed with the control, the dynamics, the visceral impact, a kick drum. Uh, the, man, the way the violins, you can hear the strings squeak and the sax, you can hear the readiness it, it, it's organic. It, it made every, it fleshed everything out. Voices. Uh, I got chills and my hair stood up on the back of my neck listening to this opera this week. And she sounded like she was in the corner of my room. It's really scary when you start to get to that level where, where these instruments and the people sound like they're with you. And that's obviously our ultimate goal as hobbyists is to get that. So, uh, with that being said, very pleased, very happy, big upgrade to the Bifocal X, as good as those were. Um, uh, enjoying all my CD collection and all my records over again, hearing stuff in them I never heard. Uh, one song, the backup singers with the Bifocal X used to kind of be in the background, like they were up on a platform behind the singer. Now it's like they stepped up over his shoulder. They're right there. It's just shocking the difference in per perception of where everything's at. It just totally changed for the better. So I'm gonna jam out here. Uh, do a little classical and open these up as loud as I can get them and show you guys the control and uh, you know the dynamic swings that these cables can handle. Here we go.
Okay guys, so that was what these cables brought to my system. Impact, control, just a visceral chill factor <laughs> that the Bifocal X couldn't bring. So uh, not bad for a little space and a little room with big sound. Uh, I did do my tour of the audio, the vintage audio store this week. So uh, I'll have that up next week. In the meantime, enjoy this. Let me know how it sounds. Yeah, 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 I know. Depending on what you have at home and your headphones and your DAX and everything, you're all going to hear it differently. But I did the best I could to relay the changes in my system for you guys. So for all you classical fans out there, I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye now.